Listen, everybody be cool. Blah, blah, blah. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Answer and Stuff where I take questions from the internet and I answer them. I'm not qualified, but I'm doing it anyway. This week I asked you guys what you wanted to know about vacuums and this is some of the crap that you came up with. Mike asked, why do they suck so much? They're designed to do that. Our do you, Marie says, I thought you said, what do you want to know about vaccines? And thought, whoa, doggy, shug a butt, butt, just took wide internet to turn. <sighs> My videos are known to cause eradicated disease outbreaks. So, Andy asks, is the sound when you stick the hose to your hand, face, or pet more of a thwomp, or is it a thump? <laughs> yeah. Valerie asks, was Kirby named after the vacuum, or is it the other way around? A crock of Schmidt asks, yeah, this topic is going to go bad places real fast. Tell me about it. Curtis asks, do you ever wonder if there's a tiny little universe inside the vacuum bag? Who the <laughs> doesn't have a canister vacuum? David Orrick called. He'd like his product back. Kevin asks, if nothing exists in a vacuum, then why are the bags always full? Well, unless you're bald. Hair balls. Chris wants to know, what's the deal with the color green? Wanna be primary color son of a- Steve Shag asks, how come when I put things in the tube extensions, it doesn't work as well as the internet said it would? Next time, check Pinterest. Daryl wants to know, why do Americans insist on measuring the flow and- <laughs> Why, who even knows this crap? Shh, 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 guys, I think it's Daryl. Adam asks, is a second you really necessary? Sucks, doesn't it? Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Meg wants to know, do the salesmen have to buy their own bowling balls for the suction demonstration? Let's just take a moment to be thankful that they're using bowling balls for the demonstration. Aaron asks, I named this kid Kirby, not after the vacuum. Did I ruin his life? Yeah, because now he's the coolest kid in the entire universe. Jeremy asks, yes or no to Dyson? It depends. Will it make me dinner and fold my socks? Larry asks, why are they so loud when you turn them on? What? Allie asks, do you think that witches think of vacuums as high-tech broomsticks? All I can think of is this. <sighs> and Mike wants to know, will every vacuum repair person relocate me to New Hampshire to avoid criminal charges for meth manufacturing or just some of them? Most of them will go into business with you. It's a profit share. Ryan asks, all other things being equal, if we treat the issue in a vacuum, how can we weather the storm, manage risk, maximize return on investment, increase the net present value of this company for the benefit of our shareholders? Meth. Phil asks, why does my cat think our vacuum is the devil? Because cats are the devil too, so it's pretty much like looking in a mirror. Sandra asks, why do they suck so much? Or in the case of our vacuum, why don't they suck after a while? It's a pyramid scheme. Desiree asks, why does my dog ignore the vacuum but cower in fear when I bust out the broom? Because your dog is probably just really adorable and sheepish, like a sheep, which is another adorable pet. Lori asks, why does my dog like when I vacuum him? Oh, that's so cute. So cute. Jessica asks, upright or canister, which is best? Whatever this is. Wendy asks, was Rosie from the Jetsons a vacuum? <gasps> she totally was. Marie asks, how do you feel if I choose not to vacuum? Well, that sucks. I'll be here all week, folks. Lucretia asks, why did they scare the shit out of kids and cats? No, 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 no answer. Tanya asks, why is it every time I spell vacuum, it looks misspelled? I'm a good speller, yet this word leaves me with feelings of inadequacy. <sighs> Wendy asks, is vacuum the only English word in which two U's appear in a row? No, I mean, you can put two U's in any word. It's gonna be spelled wrong, but you can still do it. Vincent asks, if you own a vacuum, is there still room for the broom? Sounds like a menage. So there you go, guys. We made it through another episode. If you have ideas or suggestions for a future episode, leave them in the comments below and I will do them. Also, don't forget that if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with all your friends so they can be just as confused as you every freaking Wednesday. So many lackluster vacuum questions, so little time. If you're sitting there wondering how you can get your question featured in an episode, all you have to do is follow me on Twitter and Facebook and every Saturday at noon Pacific time, I post the question for the upcoming week's episode. You leave your question, I put them in a list, I improv the answers, we all have magical fun times, sometimes we're not wearing pants, sometimes we are. There's no rules here, just, well the only rule is that you have to like give me a question or I'll just be standing here looking pretty. Is that pretty? Is that a pretty thing? Mm, you look so pretty with your hair cut.